What's going on guys, Billy here, and today we're going to be taking a look at hardware decoding which is located in the DJI GO app. This setting can possibly fix any transmission errors that you're having with the live video feed, and what I mean by transmission errors is a black or green screen. This explanation should only take a few minutes, so let's jump into it. Before we begin, I do have to let you guys know that this is only available on iOS, but if you are using an Android, don't worry, Android apps can usually manage decoding on their own, so you're not missing out on anything. First, let's take a look at where we can find this setting. All we need to do is click on the three dots in the top right corner, and it should be there underneath of the first list that appears, which is General Settings. A lot of people may be wondering what hardware decoding actually means, and to easier understand this, we can break it up into two separate words. So first of all, we have hardware, and this is commonly known as a piece of equipment. Think of your phone or the CPU inside of your phone as a piece of hardware. Next we have decoding, and to better understand what decoding means, let's first take a look at encoding. Now basically encoding is converting raw digital video into a compressed format, and we often see this through YouTube, as video files can be anywhere between 1 and 2 gigabytes, and YouTube can't simply hold all of that data. Now decoding is basically the opposite, it takes that encoded or compressed file and converts it back into raw digital video. Now I used the example of a YouTube video when talking about encoding and decoding, but in our case, when we're flying our drone, our phone will decode the encoded video signal that's being sent from the drone live. With all of that being said, we finally get hardware decoding, which helps relocate the processing power to reduce overheating and improve overall functionality. If we unselect the hardware decoding button, we're then using software decoding, which uses the CPU as well as some software to help play back the video that you see from the drone. I did some latency checks by simply snapping my finger in front of the camera and seeing how long it would take to register on the phone screen, and I do have to say that with hardware decoding turned on, there was less latency, meaning there was less of a delay. The difference was definitely there, but it was nothing drastic. I really don't think that it's going to be a problem for when you're flying. Now you may be wondering, well, should I have hardware decoding turned on or off, and it really just comes down to the device that you're using. As I said, this is only for iOS users, and it all depends on the chip that's inside of the device. Basically, if you have the A8 chip or higher, you're going to want to turn hardware decoding on, and if you have the A7 chip or lower, you're going to want to turn hardware decoding off. Now, you may not know what chip you guys have inside of your device, so I'll put up here on the screen the device and then the chip that it's using. And if it's in green, you should have hardware decoding turned on, and if it's in red, you should have it turned off. I've read many different forums, basically all the ones on DJI's website regarding hardware decoding just so that I could see what their official team members have to say, and I've concluded that it's pretty much just to make use of the more powerful chip inside of the newer Apple devices. For example, in Apple's newest iPhone, the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, they have the A10 Fusion chip, and this is one of the fastest chips put in any smartphone to date. I mean, right now, it's outdoing every Samsung phone, every LG phone. Honestly, I have the iPhone 7, and I really can tell the difference. Now, just as a little fun fact, I've read this across a couple of different articles. Basically, the iPhone 7 Plus's Geekbench score is almost faster than the MacBook Air, which is honestly just crazy. But back to our topic of hardware decoding, basically I've put this list together for you guys, you can come back and check this at a later date if you're not around your device, but if you are having some transmission problems, let's say you're seeing a black or green screen quite frequently, I would always check this out, this uh, hardware decoding setting out, and make sure that you have it switched on or off depending on what your device says. So guys, that about wraps this video up, I hope you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here as I have been trying to upload daily. Also, make sure to leave a comment down below if you have any questions about hardware decoding. I know it is kind of hard to wrap your mind around, I know that I was sitting around for about an hour just trying to read up and make sure I had all the information right. But as I said, this video is coming to an end, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace!